Hey guys, what's going on today? I've got a, another tutorial for you. Um, this applies again to both Mac and PC like most of my videos should. Um, but in this tutorial today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make animated textures for both Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. Now, this video is probably going to be long, so don't get mad at me, but there's just a lot to explain and there's just a lot to do and all this kinds of stuff and it takes a little bit of tweaking here and there and all this kind of stuff. So we'll get started right away. Now, first thing that you want to do is figure out what you want to animate. So you can make things pulsate like they're getting brighter and then darker or they're moving left and right, up and down, whatever you want, right? And there's different um, NVAP, um, environmental map textures, I believe is what they're called or something like that. Anyways, so we'll just you just have to play around with what you feel is really good and what you like to see. So first thing that you want to do is again find what you want to make animated. So for this example, we're going to make a rope animate. Um, and in this example in particular, we're going to make lightning like kind of flash, you know, like what well lightning does. Um, so first thing you want to do is take a file say just the normal robe this could be for coder one or two go ahead and extract that now you can take lightning off of the internet or just you know google images it or whatever you want but i'm going to show you guys how to make lightning from scratch so it's kind of a two-in-one video you know so first thing what you're going to want to do is create a new um, document now you're going to want to make this the size of the image for example this is 512 by 512 as you'll see right here so you can increase that size or whatever it doesn't matter um, anyways animated textures are going to be gigantic files in general so um, be aware of that because some of them can get up to 100 megabytes and yeah so you're going to create a new Blake document with the white background and blah 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 and first thing that you're going to want to do is take a brush like this that's full opacity and the flow is just whatever I don't know it doesn't matter so we're going to go ahead and go with a 200 size brush and what you're going to do is just kinda like this oh wrong one hold up guys my bad this brush um, hardness of 100 and then you're just going to kinda do that make it in the shape that you want the lightning bolt to so say we want that okay now once you do that you're going to go ahead and go to filters blur and Gaussian blur now you're going to want to set the horizontal and vertical to 100 points and click OK now you'll get this alright so once you do that you go to filters um, render clouds difference clouds and you can do this in both Photoshop and GIMP I'm just showing you guys in GIMP because because that's what I have Anyways, you're going to set the X and Y size to 10 and the detail to 15. Go ahead and click OK. Now, since lightning bolts tend to be white, not black, you're going to go to Colors and Invert. And then you'll get this, as you can see the bolt right there. And what you're going to do next is go to Colors, um, Levels, and you're going to set this one to 227, like that. And then you get this nice little lightning bolt there go ahead and click OK. Now you can use um, the brush to paint out any of this extra stuff if you want but for me I'm just going to keep it there. So go ahead and go to colors and colorize and then you know just mess with the colors whatever you want. Say you want red and then you want to increase the saturation. I wouldn't recommend that because then it doesn't look as much like lightning but something like I don't know I'll just keep it at 50 actually and then lightness don't mess with this because that'll just ruin the whole thing. Anyways so yeah, there's the custom lightning that we're going to put on our robe. Again, you can use something from Google Images, it doesn't matter. So you can keep doing this on separate um, on separate images and keep making different shapes of lightning and whatnot, whatever you want to do. Anyways, um, and then you can just copy and paste them and get something along the lines as, say, this. Um, let me get this to 512 and get something like that you know so anyways what you're going to do next is go to file export as and you're going to find the brushes in GIMP um, there's different directories depending on where 
um, you installed GIMP or anything like that, but for a Mac, for example, it's going to be an application support GIMP 2.8 and then brushes. Now what you're going to do is name it whatever, so we'll go red, lightning, and you have to um, use .gbr if you're on GIMP because that's a GIMP brush file. So go ahead and click export. Um, actually, since I already have that, let me rename it real quick. There we go. And keep the spacing the same, description doesn't matter. And then go ahead and refresh the brushes, and you'll see it right here. All right, so now that that's done, go ahead and open up the texture file that you want. And for me, I'm going to set the grid to um, 256 by 256. You can go ahead and show the grid, it doesn't matter, but you definitely want to snap to the grid. And we'll change the color to white so it's more visible, like that. All right, so first thing that you want to do is find out where you want the lightning to be on. Sorry, I'm, I'm tired, guys. I just woke up a little bit ago um, on your um, texture. So you can create your own paths. Like, I'll show you the path that I normally use. Um, yeah, I named them kind of weirdly. Um, let's go to the desktop. Um, the test for my mods, and then the rope. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, go ahead and select from path, and then this will appear. Now that's um, all the area where this lightning will be affected. Uh, well, this lightning will be. So let's go ahead and I would color the whole rope actually um, a really, really dark color. So I'd say nearly black but a, you know, really, really dark gray because um, the lightning, you know, you want it to really show. Um, so I'm going to also use this brush right here as an example because I don't want to use just a single um, lightning strike. So I'm going to go ahead and select from path or whatever path you made. And then you're just going to go ahead and click once and boom, there's your lightning. Now, if you want to see where it's going to show in game, go ahead and export this. You can keep it as uh, PMBI01 to see the default robes and how it looks. But since I already know how this looks, I'm going to keep it like this because it's looking mighty fine. Um, <laughs> anyway, so go ahead and export this. Um, we'll go TGA and um, PMBI011. And then considering that you're going to want to make it flash, you're going to have to do several different le uh, levels of the um, texture. So let's go with, say, 70%. And boom, export as. We'll go with 2. And say we want it down to, like, 30. Boom. And export as 3. All right, so now once you've had that done, um, you can go ahead and exit out because you can do different brightnesses. It doesn't really matter. It's, you know, up to you. So now for creating the um, texture. Now, like I said before, these textures are going to be huge file sizes. And guys, it, it's true. So say we want 30 frames, who knows? So you go 512 times, actually we'll go, for this example, I'll do 15 because I don't want to waste um, your guys' time by watching me do this over and over again. But you can take this as a general example. So the file size will be 7,680 by 512. So let's go ahead and do that, 7,680 by 512, click OK, and boom, there's the texture. Now go ahead and configure the grid to 512 by 512, um, show the grid, and snap to grid. Now, depending on um, what you want, it's, you know, it's kind of however you want it to pulse. It doesn't really matter. Um, so, again, that's, you know, really up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I forgot to make the general rope. So, say we want this to only pulse once. Um, it's going to keep pulsing over and over um, throughout the game, so you just kind of have to manage it, um, the FPS and all that, which I will show you how to do later. So you're just going to go ahead and line these up however you want and say you want the rope to, you know, pulsate pretty 
quickly or in a different manner. Um, again, it's kind of hard to explain. My bad, guys. But uh, let's go ahead and do this. And then just keep lining up the rope. Let's go ahead and duplicate that a little bit so we can just keep lining it up here. Now, the ropes that I have created have been, like, pretty big. I have one that has 50 frames, and this is only 15, so just imagine that file size. Um, I believe I made that one for Zool, or it might be in the recent mod pack that I released, which I'll link that down in the description in case you guys want to check that out, because those have four animated textures on ropes. But anyways, so now what you want to do is go ahead, file, export as... Um, PMBI or PFBI. You could do both. Well, you should do both in case you want the rope to be wearable by both male and female. And then you're going to choose a number between 1 and 255. But for this example, let's go with, say, 150. I'll show you why in a second. So once you have the texture completed, go ahead and go to um, Kotor Tool. And you're going to want to go to the BIFs, um, templates, and then, um, oops, not doors, blueprint for items. Now go down to the robes, GA Jedi Robe 01. And now you can name this whatever you want, just can't be more than 16 characters long, but we'll name it 150 since we named the texture right here 150. And then 150 for all of these. You can go ahead and add whatever properties you want, like say you want to. I don't know, damage immunity to slashing 10%, whatever. You can go ahead and check out all those properties, whatever. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'll just go test rope, um, whatever description you want. And comment, this doesn't affect anything. It's just your personal comment on the rope. So we'll go with red, lightning. Go ahead and save that. Make sure you edit this to say one, uh, 150, not 115. Sorry, guys, COD Zombies is in my head, you know. Um, so go ahead, cancel that. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to Tools, Open Text Editor, and this will create the actual animation for the rope. So I will um, link this, like this little thing, in the description so that you guys can just copy and paste it. So go ahead and paste this. Now, this is it's kind of hard for me to explain. You have to keep the procedure type to cycle. The default width and height is the default height for a single cell, which one of these is called a cell. And we have 15 cells here. So the default, though, is 512 for 512. And the number X is how many um, across you have. So we have 15 in this case. And the FPS is however fast you want the robe to go across each cell. So for this example, we'll do 15, which will be really fast considering we only have 15 frames. So you're going to file, save as, um, don't mind those, I'm working on a little bit of ropes. I guess that was a sneak peek, I don't know. Um, PMBI150.txi. Now you're going to have to save the file name the same as the texture right there. And then it has to be a .txi extension. So save. Go ahead and hide. Now go to your coder um, override. Go to the date modified. And just throw these files in your override. Now we're going to go ahead and test out what the texture looks like in game. Now, again, depending on how you edit it and all that kind of stuff, it's going to look different, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I will skip right to where we are in game. So I will be right back, guys. All right, so once we're back, you're going to go ahead and type in the code for whatever you named it. So in this case, GA Jedi Robe um, 150. Go to your armor. Now it's going to appear as a uh, white square, but that's where you can edit this little image. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that. Maybe I don't know. And here's your robe. So as you can see, the lightning striking like that it looks pretty good actually but it's striking a bit um, too consistently so what you could do is just add a bunch of blank frames um, of just the black robe 
and then it won't strike as often. And the FPS actually, it looks pretty good like that. So you'll keep the FPS to 15. So yeah, that's how you do animated robes in general. Now you can do it, there's a million different ways um, that you can make animated textures. I mean, guys, it's the possibilities are endless. You can make an eye flicker on a droid, for example. Or you can make lava flow through uh, a robe, which actually I will show you guys real quick. Um, my mod that I just released, the Elemental um, Robes Pack, which is kind of my test to see if people actually like animated textures or not. Now you can use these animated textures for a sign on a planet if you're making a new module or something, or you could use it for um, a sword. Uh, I don't know if the swords work the same way. But one of the tutorial videos that I have coming up, though, will be um, on animating lightsabers and things along those lines. So, for example, here's um, a new robe that I put into the game called the Solstone robe. And as you can see, there's magma flowing through it. And then we'll go with um, the next robe, uh, which I believe is the Mygeetan robe. Now this is like frost building up, which just took me f forever to make because it's so hard to get the right consistency of how I want it to freeze and then um, look like it's melting and whatnot. Um, this one, this next one, the Mananan robe, or however you want to pronounce it, is pretty hard to make because... I just can't get this water texture right. So this kind of like water is flowing through the robe, you know, and then um, I'm really getting spammed on Skype right now. <laughs> My bad, guys. And then the last one that I made is the red lightning robe, which this is what you guys can produce, you know, um, depending on however you make the robe or anything like that. So, yeah, again, that's that. Um, if you guys want me to show more... Um, more tutorials on different kinds of animations, then I will be really glad to do that for you. Again, you can do this on signs, blah, blah, blah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you, again, want to see more, then just message me on um, YouTube or Deadly Stream or Lucas Forms, whatever you want, or Steam. Don't forget to add me on Steam. That's my name right there. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in my next video.